Okay, y'all, so this is the final look. It's giving mink lashes, cause they are. What is up you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on some mink eyelashes. This is the easiest tutorial that you can do at home. I do it all the time. These are the lashes that I'm going to be using. They're Real Mink Clusters by V-Lux. They have the medium and the long sizes in here. I'm not afraid to admit that I don't like spending money. So I like doing a lot of things by myself. Whoops. So these are the lashes. Really cute. Um, what I'm going to be using today I have these scissors. I don't know if I'm gonna have to use them. I have tweezers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are actually eyelash tweezers. I used to do mink individual lashes on other people and I stopped doing it because it takes too long and the pay is not that great unless you have a built up clientele. The glue that I will be using is this super hair bond glue. And I'll also be using the INV Waterproof Long Lasting Individual Adhesive, which I'm gonna just put into this tray right here. And I don't like to use too much of this because it actually bonds the lashes kind of like, um, it feels kind of hard when it dries. Um, and you don't want your lashes to feel super hard, but it does make them stay on a lot longer than they would without it. All right, so I'm going to be putting the medium in the inner and outer corners. So I'll put two and two on both sides, boom, boom. Um, and for the inner and outer corners, I'm going to be using the waterproof adhesive. So I'm just gonna dip my little cluster in there just a tiny bit and I like to wave it so that the glue dries a little faster and then I'm gonna start with the outer corner which I'm just putting right there and then I'm not going to maneuver it so much I do want it to kind of sit there and dry so I'm gonna give it some time before I clamp it down I'm going to grab another medium and again, I'm going to grab some of that waterproof adhesive. I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Try not to maneuver it so much. But I want to make sure that it's on. Okay. So that's two clusters. Actually, let's do two in the back and then one in the front. I don't think I got enough mediums to do two in the back, two in the front for both. So let's do. Span it and let's put one right there. And then I'm just going to fan And I am putting it on top of my lashes. I'm not putting it below. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the corner closest to the inner corner. And I'm going to be going below for those. So I'm going to use a little bit of the hair bond glue instead, because I don't want them to feel too hard. So I'm going under.
And I am touching the corner of the two lashes together because I do want the glue to like clamp together when I do clamp it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with <clears throat> the same hair bond glue. All under. All right, so All right, so now that the <clears throat> lashes are filled in on the bottom one, I'm just going to start adding some to the top. Um, I'll do this eye first. I like to add them towards the middle and I am using the waterproof glue for the top layer. Um, that way when I clamp them together, both of the glues mix. <clears throat> so I'm going to add another one over here. And as you can see, I'm kind of spacing them out a little because I want to give it like a wispy look. See how there's a tiny little space right here? Not that there's literally a space. There's still lashes right here, but they're not as long as these. I'm gonna put another one over here. And the last one, I'm gonna put on this end. I'm using the waterproof glue for that. All right, so now that they're dry, I'm just going to clamp. Clamp. I'm literally clamping top and bottom of the lashes together. Top and bottom row. That's going to keep them on for a lot longer. I'm sandwiching my lashes with the artificial lashes. When I get ready to remove them, I do use lash remover. That makes it super easy. I do not lose any of my natural lashes. Um, and yeah, it makes everything super simple. If you do not do the clamping stage, of the lash process it is not going to last as long as if you would have so i definitely recommend clamping them together and then when it's time to remove them using lash remover my lashes usually stay on when i do them like this um at least a week at the very least um before they start coming off by themselves um, I do not recommend pulling these off. Do not pull these off. It's just like if you were to pull off mink lash extension. Um, you're going to be pulling off your natural lashes as well. So always be careful with that. You want to make sure that you use lash remover when it's time. Um, I'm trying to see if I feel like they're even. To be honest, I really can't tell. Um, I feel like I should add... one more maybe right here i don't know i'm about to figure it out all right so this is the finished look it is giving eyelash extension at 
a fraction of the cost, y'all. One tenth of the cost. Now that my hair is done, my lashes are done, it's giving all I need is some lip gloss. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I can taste it. Why am I not putting on so much, y'all? So now that my hair is done, my lashes are done, I got my lip gloss on, I feel so damn fine. I can't even lie to y'all. And I'll be looking like this for a good week, minus the lip gloss. My eyebrows are microbladed, which if y'all ever want a tutorial on how I microblade my own eyebrows, just comment, let me know, DM me. Y'all can follow my Instagram at underscore underscore Trixie Tang if y'all ever want to get in contact with me. And if y'all do want to see how I did my hair like this, please go to my channel and look at the tutorial that I posted. These are human hair faux locks. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.